Howdy everyone and welcome to episode 36 of my West Ham United FM15 career. And as you can see, today it is the quarter-final of the Champions League. You may have noticed, there's five English teams in it. Wow, that's incredible. I think Liverpool won it, yeah, Liverpool won it last year. But they didn't get finished in the top four, meaning there's five English teams in the Champions League this year. It's insane. And they've all managed to get to the Champions League quarter-finals. So we have got Man United. Um, Real Madrid is still in it, who we lost against in the group stage, of course. Dortmund, Porto, and then Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool. It's really English dominated this season. So I'm hoping that we should be able to, to get through this game against Man United because they're obviously opposition that we know well. It's going to be tough though. Since the last game where we beat Bayern Munich 2 1 in the first knockout round, second leg, we won 4 2 on aggregate, of course. We beat Cardiff 6 0, a hat trick from Patrick Roberts, and Origi got two goals. Then we beat Newcastle 5-1 and Roberts with a second hat-trick in a row. Then we beat Swansea 4-0 and just now, at the weekend, a one all draw against Man United. Which is a very good result because I played my second team. Very happy with that result, all things considered. Um, yeah, so league-wise we are six points clear of a game in hand over Chelsea. So really hoping we can tie that up in the last six games plus 59 goal difference as well it's been incredible top scorers in the league Origi 23 Roberts 21 and Tello with 15 we dominate the average ratings all five positions there top two assists as well shots and target average minutes per goal players featuring all over the shot Liali has conceded the fourth least amount of goals Chesney's been very good for Arsenal actually don't know if he's played every single game for them Overall, though, Roberts is actually our top scorer now. 31 goals ahead of Origi. He has been phenomenal. And assists-wise as well. I think I showed you in the last episode. But he's continued to be fantastic. We don't want assists per 90 minutes, do we? Not sure where it's gone, the uh, actual assists. But never mind. Average rating-wise, top is Patrick Roberts. And it's Yuri Van Aken, Balanta. He only played uh, eight games for us now. But he's up there already. Um, fantastic defender, of course. <laughs> Probably the best on the game. If you didn't see episode 35, I told you that I'd signed him for 45 million. Not all of it in one go. So, who am I going to pick for this first game against Man United? We're at home. I will uh, go to the toilet, I think. Then decide on my first 11 and the subs. See you in a minute. That's better. So, here's the team. The alien goal. Garza at right back. Now... I was discussing him in the last game as being a centre-back, but I'm thinking of training, up, tra training him up as a right-back. He's got fantastic attributes to be a top-class centre-back, but I think he's also got good attributes to be a right-back. Um, he is actually my best right-back now. He's better than Ivan, according to my assistant. Centre-back, he's third best out of my players. So he, he's going to be a fantastic player for many years to come. Colombian, Colombian international already, only 19 um, but I mean like 19 heading, 17 tackling, 16 position, positioning, he is a star. And if I can push up things like crossing and dribbling, maybe he can be a very, very good right back. Um, but he's a natural right, uh, right back or centre back, can even play left back as well. So yeah, I'm going to play him right back and maybe I don't really need to sign a, a star right back in the summer. Um, rest of the team sort of speaks for itself. Canales instead of Luciano Costa at the moment because he has been really good in that central position actually. 8.32 rating over the past five games. Luciano Acosta has been very good as well though. Um, scoring in that one all draw against Man United in the previous game. So he's on the bench. I have a limited bench because in the Champions League you have to register a lot of English players and I don't have too many to be honest. Homegrown players anyway. So a lot of players are left unregistered. But I've got, uh, I've obviously registered the key players. So can we beat Man United in the quarter-final of the Champions League? They're sixth in the league, so they're struggling a little bit. Well, quite a lot this season in the league. So I'm hoping we can comfortably qualify. But Man United are always very tough on football manager in general. Here goes Tello on the break. This is a great counter, but it's not back to Canales. Oh, lovely 
intricate play. It's knocked around and... Oh, it's in the back of the net from Romero. Oh, that was a scramble and it was eventually put away. It was a brisk counter-attack from us. And uh, we got a bit lucky with the deflections there. I mean, look at that. That is that is unlucky from Man United. Then he hit the crossbar and Romero stuck it home on the rebound. Ah, oh, brilliant, brilliant start to the game once again. We keep scoring early goals. Can we get another straight away? Here goes Roberts, bursting down the right, puts it in. Oh, Rigi, if he'd only put it either side of De Gea there. He, put, he got too much on it there, and it went down the centre for De Gea. He's not been quite as good over the last few games. But Origi still my star striker. Obviously, I've got Burrell to come on, the youngster from France. Here goes Tello, cuts in. Origi smashes it over. Should have done better. Like I said, not so good recently. Needs to get a goal just to have a return of confidence, I think. I still believe in him. Here goes Tello. It's been all us at the start of this game. Can Origi find someone? It's into Yuri, into Roberts. Come on, Patrick. Skip trying his man. Origi tackled. Rojo. That's Garzon on a yellow. He gets quite a few yellows, actually, at right back. Here goes Tello. Straight down the middle. Tello's been good lately. Generally, we've been... Everyone's been good lately. Here goes Canales into Yuri. Roberts. Come on. Oh, it's wide. I knew it was going to go wide. He always does that. But not always. He does it a bit too often. Brilliant to watch, though, as I've said many a time. He's looking nervous, though, for some reason. Perhaps I can do a little individual sort of talk. Let's see if it changes. Calm? Hmm. Encourage, I think. Let's try that. I don't know if that will do anything. It's nearly half time, any half time anyway. And it's been a good half for us. That early goal... Meaning we're 1-0 up at half time. Lots of yellows at the back though. I'm going to just say keep it up. Balanta's the only defender without a yellow card. Could be a bit of a struggle in the second half then. Come on guys. This is going to be a live com. I think you probably assumed that. And Tello finds this offside, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I will... Because uh, the next game's immediately, so... We can play both games in this episode very easily. As in immediately, I mean a week later. But there's no games in between. Robert scores! I think it froze slightly there with Garzon setting him up. And he found the bottom left-hand corner. He has been on fire lately. Unbelievable player. Garzon with the assist. Just fed it through to Roberts who was alone. And it was... A lovely little finish into the corner. Wrong foot in De Gea, I think, there, who just was in no man's land. Do we go counter now? Defend our lead? I think maybe if we could get another goal, that would be nice. But here they go. Here goes Fisher, And it's a good save from Liali. The first time he's really been called upon. It was the first time he's been called upon. They've been non-existent in this game. Can we get another here from a corner? We're good from corners. Yuri. Oh, Balanta. Into Tello. Tackled well. Oh, well done, Tello. Good closing down there. I think it might be time to make a sub soon. Origi's had a poor game. Roberts into Romero. Tackled. For win it. Well done, Vacant of Anakin. Fantastic. And that's a brilliant point to Roberts. Roberts. Oh, what a save by De Gea. Knocked in, knocked away. Romero win it, well done. Oh, they have got a corner. Let's watch this and then make the sub. Kovacic. Ah, good header. Kranvita, my ex-player, of course. Origi, run for it. Oh, he's done brilliantly there. Ah, oh, look at him go, but it's cut out, unfortunately. And now they're on the counter. This is dangerous. Di Maria, ah, oh, lovely from Balanta. Into Origi, who's tackled again. Ah, win it, Balanta. No, Oh, they've scored. He couldn't quite get to that, could he? That's their away goal. Perhaps should have gone a bit more conservative in this half. Rigi has been disappointing today. Yuri's tired as well. I'm going to take him off and bring on Acosta.
Ah, uh, that was that was a good bit of play, and unfortunately, it resulted in them getting a goal back, of course. And can they get another here? But well done, Vanaken. Liali kicks clear. Origi still on the pitch. Tello play it through. Origi. Ah, uh, Vanaken. Origi, nice play. It's into Tello. Blocked off. Oh, it's really intense stuff, this. And damn it. And they're going to break and get an equaliser straight away. It'd be disappointing if they do. Two away goals would be hard in the second leg. But Yuri into Roberts. Roberts dribbles. Oh, this is nice. Gah. It's so tight. They're just all over us in terms of defending. And eventually that highlight subsided. Garzan's been good at right back. 8.2, of course, with the assist. Has he got... I can't remember if he set up the first goal as well. I can't remember. I'm sticking with attacking simply because I'm hoping we can get another goal. It may be a bit brave. I'm going to bring Marcelo off for Douglas Santos just to make sure we've got another defender at the back who's not on a yellow. Come on, guys. Hang on. Oh, no. Corner. Rodriguez whips it in. Headed away. Well done. Now Acosta run. Use your pace. Over to the right, lovely. Oh, Burrell, what were you doing if you'd let that go? Roberts would have been in. Ah, oh, unfortunate there from from Burrell. Ah, oh, nice from Canales. Interception was perfect, and it's through to Tello, who scores. Ah, oh, what a finish! He's already had one goal disallowed, but that one's going to count. That was a good goal. Smashed it in, didn't he? Lovely ball from Canales. Perfect. And Tello, with the pace and a good time in, time, timed run, um, then fired at home. What a goal. 3-1, that's what I wanted going into the second leg. Obviously, we've conceded an away, an away goal, which isn't ideal, but hopefully it will be enough. A two-goal advantage. Come on, Roberts. Maybe another one. That would be good. Roberts still going. De Gea saves. And I think this is going to be all over. Costa whips it in and it's wide from Burrell. Both our strikers didn't quite hit top form today. But it didn't matter. We won 3-1. Oh, ah, brilliant. Very happy with that, guys. And it's onwards and upwards, hopefully, in the second leg. We dominated in that game. Now, I will be showing the tactics of this at the end of this season, I think. I'll do maybe a separate tactics video, possibly. We'll see for this for this tactic, and people have been asking about the Nottingham Forest one as well, of course. So the other legs: Chelsea beat Liverpool four-one, Porto beat Dortmund one 0 and Man City beat Real Madrid five-one. The English teams are on fire this year. So here we are, guys. The second match of my quarter-final away against Man United. Can we do this? My stomach is killing me for some reason. I don't know what's happened. I've already swallowed something dodgy. Or I'm just hungry. Probably. I need some crisps. That's what I need. So, same lineup, I think. I think we should stick with the same lineup. Yeah. I know Origi wasn't great in the last game, but I, I'm going to trust him for this game to, to do the business. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's go and beat Manchester United in the Champions League. Yeah, I think I've swallowed something a bit weird. We can do this. Come on, guys. Boom. Shall we mark Alcazar this time? Victor Fisher. Fishing for a goal. Where have we... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Boom, that worked. Garzan and Balanta, the two Colombians, don't like me. Racist. I've got Michael Bradley in my field. Bit of a legend he is. And Papadopoulos, what a name as well. You've got to love him. Voland, good player. Come on, guys. Oh, this doesn't look like it's going to be good. So, oh, Garzon, brilliant defending. Then a bit of a terrible punt from Liali to no one. But here they are again. Uh-oh. Here, oh, Kovac, Kovac. Oh, bloody hell. 1-0 down so early on. That was offside, I agree. If we can get an away goal, that would be handy. It doesn't matter if we lose 1-0, though. It doesn't even matter if we lose 2-0, I don't think. No, it does. They've got an away goal. We can't lose two now. Guys, what are you doing? Maybe I should go and counter. Uh-oh. 
Well done, Balenta. Yes. Oh, no. Romero, win it. No. Fisher. No. Kovacic. Ah, oh, but... Oh. They're still on the ball. Fisher. Ah, oh, excellent defending. Origi. Oh, bloody hell. We can't get hold of the ball. They're all over us. No. Ah, oh, Liali. Well done. Thank you all. Twelve minutes in, thirteen minutes in. De Gea, win it, Balanta. Well done. We haven't had any of the ball yet, have we? This is disastrous. What's happening, Voland? Great save. Oh no! Ah, oh, what a save! Ah, oh, absolutely fantastic goalkeeping and defending. I need to change this up. Drop deeper. We're gonna go. We're gonna go counter and flexible. Come on, guys. What is happening to us? We haven't actually made the tactical changes. They might actually score again, which would be terrible because we actually need a goal. Voland misses. Oh, thank goodness for that. We haven't had any shots. What has happened to us? We're usually wonderful. I've been telling you, oh, yeah, I'll show you my tactic at the end of the season. And now what's happened? We've had one shot, actually, off target, though, which we didn't see. Voland bursts through. Fantastic defending from whoever that was. I don't know. But brilliant defending. Rodriguez... Great left back, Swiss guy. Shouldn't be saying such good things about them. Oh, this is awful. What has happened to us? Canales break. Oh, lovely. Arigi. Oh, good defending by them. Tense stuff. We need a goal, really, don't we? Just to take the pressure off us. Oh, that is. I mean, what was the point in that throw in? Oh, no. Ah. Oh, what has happened? What has happened to us? Like, we've suddenly just stopped. Ah. Uh, let's do something different. This is just not working. Today. Man United have come out all guns blazing and absolutely murdered our defence. We haven't managed to get hold of the ball at all. This is atrocious. If we can nick a goal here, that would be helpful. No, that is awful as well. Canales, what are you doing? Win it, Garzon. Well done. Now, this is it. This is it. Roberts. 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 Roberts wide. Ah. What am I going to do? Half time. It's just not working. I'm, I'm going to be aggressive. Come on, lads. That's it. He's going to come off. On comes Luciano Acosta. Can I? He's on a yellow. This is really poor. Really poor. We're going to go. We're going to do that. We, we just need one goal. Nice play, Origi. Romero. Blocked. Run for it, Garza or Balanta. One of you. That's it. Reliable Colombians. Marcelo. Don't do anything. Oh. Why are we being so ridiculous on the ball today? They're just pressurising us really well. Roberts. Wow, saved. It's our first shot on target in the whole game. What has happened to us? We can't go out at this stage. We've been fantastic this season. Ah. Uh. Let's just see what happens with this highlight. Romero's had a mare in midfield. 6.4. Yuri, come on. La <laughs> Balanta. Oh, well done, Garzon. Mopping up. Another yellow for him, though. Yali. Van Aken. This is nice. Arigi. That's all okay. here. Roberts. Oh, it's wide. We need to make changes. I don't really have anyone else that can... I'm going to put Carrasco in midfield. Box to box. Origi's just been awful over these two legs. What is going on with them? Um... I'm really, I'm really quite stumped because away at home we were superb 
nothing was really going wrong for us. And suddenly it is. I'm tempted to throw out the, the Nottingham Forest tactic just to get us through. Possibly could help us out here. But this one has worked wonders with West Ham. Similar. Oh, Ariki! Oh, a great cock up at the back. Ariki needed that goal and he's got it. Ah, oh, thank goodness. That's our away goal. They need to score twice now. Well, they need to score once for it to go to extra time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Well done, Origi. Latching onto a mistake at the back between Rojo and De Gea. Look at that. Look at De Gea just casually walking. No urgency at all to get to that ball, despite Origi running towards him. He needed that goal, though. Can we hang on? To a 2-1 loss. Carrasco. Tello. Can we make it 2 all? Oh, it's knocked away. Oh, where is the marker on Raphael? Whoever number 12 is. Mata. Oh, no. Raphael hits it wide. Phew. It's lucky he was in that position and no one else. I had Raph oh, is that a different Raphael? Anyway, they had Raphael. No, it is Raphael. The Man United Raphael. Had him up front for some reason. Whipped in. Volant hits a post. Get rid of it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Last sub. Roberts has had a terrible game today. I'm going to put Origi on the wing and Burrell up front. Yeah, let's do that. Ramduta. Ramduita. On the right. See how that works out. Roberts' his first awful game of the season, I would say. We've definitely played better in the second half since going more direct, although I've gone back to pass, short passing, haven't I? I don't know what I'm doing now. I've tried so many different things in this game. Whatever's happened, we've managed to get a goal back. Fortunately, I guess. Oh, Balanta. Oh, phew. That was a good pass back in the end. It looked slightly dangerous, but it worked out well. Whoa. Nerves. It's lucky I went to the toilet. Papadopoulos. Rojo. Crane Vetter, my ex-player. Coming back to haunt me, maybe. Here goes Voland. But they have really been all over us. And it's good defending Van, Va Van Aken. But, well, they've hit the post. I can't. I'm trying to be like a horse race commentator here. Speaking at breakneck pace. Can we hang on? We're on counter. <laughs> We're going through at this point. One goal to them and it's going to extra time. Come on, guys. Hang on. I think, we, I think we've done it. I think we're through to the semi-final. Origi, that was pretty awful. But it doesn't matter. We've won. Well, we've lost the game, but we're through. We're through to the semi-final. Balanta, man of the match. 8.3 performance. Fantastic from him. Good to see. He obviously was strong at the back to help me through. It was a pretty even game in the end, despite an awful first half. Ah, oh, that is a relief. I <laughs> oh Chelsea and Tottenham next in the league. Chelsea is a big game because of course they're second. Tottenham I always struggle against. Annoyingly so. Ah, oh, we've made it through. So we've either got Porto, Liverpool or Man City. This is winnable. We can win this Champions League. Real Madrid and Dortmund out. Porto beating Dortmund. We've got a good chance. So the next episode will be the semi-final. Where you'll find out who we will face. Exciting times. So the semi-final. Not too far away. In fact. Only three league games. Then we will play the semi-final. With the Norwich game in the middle. And then, hopefully, the final will be the last game of the season. Either way, we'll, we've got two more videos to go in this season. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like for a left. Uh, well, just leave a like because I managed to get through. Oh, I am relieved. Let's do this, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the semi-final episode.